A Few Good Men is a captivating legal drama that explores themes of honor, loyalty, and justice within the context of the military justice system. Directed by Rob Reiner and starring a talented cast of actors, the film provides a thought-provoking examination of the moral complexities that arise when soldiers are ordered to commit acts that violate their own sense of right and wrong. The story begins with the death of Private Santiago, a Marine stationed at the Guantanamo Bay Naval Base in Cuba. Two of his fellow Marines, Dawson and Downey, are accused of murdering him in a Code Red, a brutal hazing ritual designed to punish disobedient soldiers. The pair of defendants claim that they were following orders from their superior officer, Lieutenant Kendrick, who had instructed them to train Santiago after he had been repeatedly disciplined for his insubordination. Kendrick is a staunch believer in the Marine Corps' Code of Honor, and he sees the Code Red as a necessary tool for maintaining discipline and order within the ranks. He argues that Santiago's lack of respect for his fellow Marines put the entire unit at risk and that his death was an unfortunate but necessary consequence of his insubordination. However, Coffey, a young and inexperienced lawyer who is assigned to defend Dawson and Downey, sees the situation differently. Initially, Coffey is content to accept a plea bargain and avoid a trial. However, his co-counsel, Lt. Commander Galloway, is convinced that there is more to the case than meets the eye. She believes that the defendants were acting under orders and that there may be a larger conspiracy at play. With Galloway's help, Coffey begins to investigate the circumstances surrounding Santiago's death and uncovers a web of lies and cover-ups that leads all the way to the top of the chain of command. At the center of the conspiracy is Colonel Jessup, the base commander, who is fiercely protective of his marines and determined to maintain the unit's reputation at all costs. Jessup is a complex and compelling character, played to perfection by Jack Nicholson. He embodies the Marine Corps' ethos of strength and discipline, but he is also capable of extreme cruelty and brutality. As the trial progresses, Coffey finds himself locked in a battle of wits with Jessup, each determined to outmaneuver the other and secure victory for their side. The courtroom scenes are the heart of the movie, and they are riveting from start to finish. The tension between the prosecution and defense teams is palpable, and the performances by the actors are outstanding. Tom Cruise brings his trademark charisma and energy to the role of Coffey, while Demi Moore gives a strong and nuanced performance as Galloway. But it is Nicholson who steals the show, delivering a powerful and unforgettable monologue that has become one of the most iconic moments in film history. In the end, Coffey and Galloway succeed in exposing the truth about Santiago's death and bringing Jessup to justice. The movie ends on a bittersweet note, with the defendants being acquitted of the murder charge but still facing dishonorable discharge for their role in the hazing ritual. Coffey and Galloway reflect on the trial and the lessons they have learned about the military justice system, leaving the viewer with a sense of both satisfaction and unease.